And like I said, this up here, there's different sizes of these things. I mean, there's a big one here, and it goes all the way down to a teeny tiny little, little speck. Now, this is really cool, and I'll show you why in a moment. I'm going to take this other one, this other really teeny tiny one. Actually, let me get one just under the size I just used. Control copy, control paste, control V, tilty, rotate, tilty again so I can get it into position. Let's get this up. Let's bring this out. One, two. You got to make sure there's a one voxel gap in between the handle and the outside wall. So there we go. And I'm going to hit check. And I need to come back out again because I need to line this up. And I'm basically going to go in a line here and create something. It may look like crap, but we'll see. Let's control Z out of that because I messed it up. As you can see, that corner kind of messed up on me here, so I got to repaste that. And I'll just kind of go up the line and kind of paste. Just making something here because I'm going to utilize this in a moment, and I'm going to show you some really something really cool you can do with this in conjunction with putty voxels. I just pretty much gave it away right there. So thanks for the friend request there. Um, let's take a selection of an area. I'm going to pull this up. Hold my shift key. Drag that up into the air. And I'm going to take my heel tool and heal that square. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take my selection tool. Do the same thing as I did before uh, to make a putty voxel. I want this to be three voxels right here. So it's literally three voxels in. I'm going to grab this top face, drag it down. So I got one voxel, uh, one voxel, by uh, three voxels. I'll take my paint tool, and I am going to go with a red I have over here. I only have a very few of those. So with the paint tool selected, and I have this red lumicite, I'm going to paint that that uh, voxel here. Take my selection tool push that face in till it's a one by one by one selection control copy now I'm going to paste this putty voxel inside of the space that I just etched and you can see that this putty voxel is conforming to that etcher's size that I have put in here so you can literally do some really cool uh, design work on your build by using such a, a type of a technique. And let me go all the way down here to this other one that I etched out earlier. And let me make sure I'm pretty much on it because it's kind of hard to see on my screen by itself. And I'm going to fill that little gap that I put in for the etcher, for the smaller etcher, and you can see just by playing around with it a little bit you can come up with different thicknesses of etching for your walls so there we go we have different ways to play around with the etcher